Hello everyone and welcome back to Rambles and Preambles, and we are in Syria. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> Bad things! <laughs> <laughs> oh, current goings on. I know, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna play with this guy's bell. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> They'll definitely behead you for that! No, it'll be fine. Um, I think not. Marib. Let's go talk to this guy. This guy's cool. Oh, have you heard about the new Predator film coming out this year? I have not heard about new Predator films. Predator, Dark Ages. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. So, sure like, done. medieval oh, times. Mm -hmm. Templars. Oh, sweet Jesus, that's going to be cool. Anderson. Yeah, it is. Wayne Anderson. And it's Wayne actually going back to, Anderson. you know, Hell like the original good. So like Predator films. Like Predator One and Predator Two. <clears throat> I mean, Predators wasn't bad. That's true. I like the crazy mental Lawrence Fishburne in it. Yeah, yeah. Predators wasn't bad, but it did kind of make. I don't think they. I didn't really like the fact that they had uh, Venom decide to be the main bad guy. In it. And that guy and the bad guy in any role was just not good. Yeah. Just you know, every time I see it, I think of the guy from uh, that '70s show, and you just think you're a scrawny little dweeb, and you're not, and you're not a bad person. Hey there, young fella. I did like the uh, yakuza Speaking guy in it. Yeah, he, he was, was cool. He's badass. Speak you the Anglaise. Uh, Parlez-vous anglais? Yes, si, and indeed we, oui. and rather better than you by the sound. Of you. My name is Nietzsche. Welcome to my grand emporium of quality merchandise. Mouthy little cunt, I'm American. I'm bigger than you, give me all your shit. That's how life works. It does. What do you think of this, eh? Oh, sir, what a splendid plaything. One day, when I am rich, God damn it. I am going to build a world-renowned collection of brightly colored balls. Are you serious? In deadly earnest, people will come from Far and wide to see my yes. collection. The Rockefellers <laughs> and the Kitties can keep their hordes of so called fine art. But answer me this What good is a Picasso, I ask you, if you cannot bounce it off a wall? You may have a point. <coughs> that would make a Picasso a lot more entertaining. Is that your father lurking in the back of the stand? He is indeed a roaring fellow. I oops his name. You don't sound like you respect him very much. Don't I? Not only do I respect him, I rather like him. For all his bluster, we get on very well. Seriously, do you really think this thing's so great? Take it away, you tempter. I'll swap it for something off your stand. Um, due to seasonal financial considerations, I'm afraid I cannot. I thought you wanted this thing. I do, sir. This stand doesn't. Which in translation meant it's not really my stand, and I'll be in big trouble if I swap anything for something that I want myself. Alternatively, is there any service that you require? Okay, not God. at the moment, but I'll bear Jesus it Christ! This game just took a dark so turn. Keep, <laughs> at least he said no. <laughs> That's a plus. But look, Union Jack. <laughs> In Syria. <laughs> See, his hands like that look like testicles and I thought it was a bull chinian. <laughs> Hello there. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah Give to me! Give to me! Allah move! There we go. Good thing you picked that up. Many beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? 
How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes? Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. No. I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shit. No. I am Batman, you fucking idiot. I am world's greatest luxury tactic. Well, I can see where this detective. is going. I don't hear anything else. I am Ultar. Taxi driver and sure. luxury guy. No, 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 no. Sir, uh, sir, one, of, one of his nicknames is the world's greatest detective. Yeah, yeah but I'm pretty sure, you know, a certain butler does most of the legwork. Legwork, really? <laughs> okay, maybe not legwork. <laughs> but, you know, it's just a generalised term. Just saying. I think you'll find it's Batgirl that does most of the legwork now, even though she's disabled. Sick! You're disabled, Joe. Cripple. Speaking of that, there we have a variant cover that they've just done to commemorate, like, you know, the killing joke and when she got crippled by the Joker. And mm. uh, people wanted to pull it because uh, it's uh, demoralising to women. Uh, oh, Jesus I'm Christ, it's the Joker! Yeah, I know, right? Some shit in this world is just going mental. Yeah. It's like, really? You, you're looking at Batman comics I, for something nice demoralizing women. I was wondering if you could help me. Not saying I want what? them to, but just I mean, take a look at Deadpool. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, alrighty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. Ah, and he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Toilet. This place is certainly hard to find. Oh yes, it is most exclusive. What, in real life? The membership can be what? no, because no, it's just there. I can put it any point. I'm going to toilet in game. What would you uh, guess the population of the village to be? Gee, I don't know, a couple of thousand. Then I would estimate the membership to be no more than a couple of thousand. <laughs> what do you make of that boy in the market, Nejo? Nejo, ha, Ayuk's boy. He's too big for sandals. I speak splendid English, and he laugh. He say, Ultar, you big ox, you split infinitive. I say, I split your head if you stay still long enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I like this guy. Yes. Hilarious. You should be on cable. Okay. Have you met the American couple? Have Ultar met them? Have Ultar met them? Yes. Ultar have met them. And? They most ungenerous. Ultar offer to show them wonders of countryside. They say, is there anything ancient? Ultar say, yes, of course. Nature is ancient. They say, no, anything ancient made by men. And Ultar say, have you seen taxi? Fan belt older than Ozymandias. <laughs> but they gone. Have you seen this man before? Oh, most certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My god, he's close. Yes, he was asking lot of questions, just like you. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stoby. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. What else did he ask dun, dun, dun. about? He asked about German Shit, man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Voltar said. Klausner. <coughs> I told this man in the picture, Klausner wanted to go up to Bull's Head. Hold on, he wanted to go where? Bull's Head. Big hill, ten mile out of town. Maybe sixty. When was that? <laughs> oh, maybe a week ago. What can you tell me about this Bull's Head hill? It's most magnificent, lovely views. Worth visiting, yes, by indeedity. How do I get there? No. Let me guess. You need fine luxury guy to take you there in air-conditioned taxi. Woe is me. Where can I find such a guy? And Ultar is most luxurious guy for most literally some way. 
in any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. Are you desirous of my pleasant and luxuriant service? All right, let's go. First, <coughs> I regret the formalities. A trip to the bull's head. Fifty Yankee dollars, please. Fifty bucks? I don't have fifty bucks. Oh, what? most unhappy event. Ultar, then sorry, but he cannot take you on ride of lifetime. Hold on, Ultar. Is there nothing I could barter with you? Word that it was so, beloved friend. But my taxi needs gas, and its muffler needs the muffler doctor. Trading for these things is not possible. My heart weeps for the injustice, but it's bucks or zip for unfortunate American. <laughs> Fine. Stay around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. The amount of fucking plane tickets this guy has already bought. How does he not have fifty dollars? I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. That's probably Gabriel Knight, where he's just stolen some dead guy's credit card. <laughs> does not have money? Such credit cards. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you tell me what that sign means? It's a. Doors stay shut until Brush come back. Sign the management. Oh, well, what does that mean? Manager buy lovely new toilet brush, leaves it by wash basin for ten minutes, come back, it been stealing. Stolen. Not even out of wrapper. He damn cross. Lock up toilet and say, nobody use fine pristine toilet until Brush given back. We say, what we do till then, eh? He say, cross legs and use superior willpower. And that's what you've been doing? No. Ultar, you suck it. <laughs> Brilliant. See you around, Ultar. May good po- Right, it's basically we need a bog rush. Yummy! Dodgy carpet guy. Hmm, that guy's got a brush. Hmm. In the still air, the smell hung around like bad smells do. Oh, speaking so, of ISIS, you know that they are the all like larking the around in Tunisia at the moment. No, I do not notice, but... Oh, um. yeah. Um, it's actually... They've actually stopped um, filming on some of the sets of the new Star Wars. Well, really? Goodbye. Yeah. Have a nice day. Specifically the uh, Tatooine sets. Um. <laughs> the stall holder's face wasn't a great ad for running a kebab stand. Stall holder. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you buy kebab. Musku. Kebab. Well, goodbye. And have a nice day. Most good. I don't remember how to do this. Maybe you have to steal the keys to Old Hell's car. Oh jeez, that guy is wearing socks and flip-flops, I will kill him. The stall holder's face wasn't a great in this the stall holder's Hello again. Who's the guy selling the kebabs? Oh, that's Arto. A miserable blighter to be sure, sir. He doesn't seem very happy. He never is. Day in, day out, a face like a wet Wednesday. Whatever one of those is. Does he speak any English? Not cogently, no. Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. It's funny because it didn't the tell us that he was basing it with a toilet that brush. Need? Yes. Let hmm. me find some dirty postcards for you instead. Nijo, this is serious. Ardo stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, 
Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am a merchant and merchant's trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, I you're wonder. Right. Uh, what would you like? I seem to recall if that's the that stuff that we that have bowed now for, for a long time but cannot find any more. Yeah, just a different bottle. You mean the ball, don't you? Pretty good. Yeah. Form that it's quite thought after for me as well. It's good stuff. If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? <laughs> All right, here you go. Thank you, sir. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never Until they steal your now. oil. Remember the brush? Right, yes, the brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day. Makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. Il ach il kal. Il ach il kal. Close enough. Now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his welcome. He won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. Right, so, so long, the, the kid has given us uh, a phrase to say in Arabic to uh, basically be polite to this guy that won't talk to us because he doesn't speak English. I see. All it cost us was a red ball that we got off a clown in Paris. Hello again, Isn't it sir? Nose? Hello. No, we got uh, a ball mm. as well as he dropped it when he was yeah. uh, juggling. Uh. Not that we have the clown nose anymore either. Alright, here we go. Hope this works. Um, il akul kal. Filthy, bad, bad. I kill you. Whoa! <laughs> Calm down. I just beat. Do your thing. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that didn't go that well. No. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been So what did you use that clear polish for? Your brush, sir. Uh, thinner for a airbrush. I can't believe oh, that you put thinner. me on that kebab seller's death list. For a oh, people, the there's two, there's two divides on the opinions yeah, of it, because it has changed and stuff. Line, people they saying it's so not as good as the original for floors, uh -huh. but some people say are saying, oh, don't know about scary. it as a floor polish, but this is great for dipping uh, the clear cockpit canopies of model aircraft uh, in to keep it as clear as shine. Also, perfect for airbrushing onto the finished model to so give, long, it, give a hard keep finish to help that? when dusting, etc. Uh, coating model holes, uh, jets to seal on paint finishes, decaling work. Yeah. So it worked for uh, model stuff. Yeah. I just wonder if it will use some still work for my intended purpose. Shouldn't drink it. No, it's not drinking it. But I'm not prepared to disclose that information of what it is used for. Okay. It's a heavily, there wasn't heavily much guarded secret. There was trying to launch okay. an in-depth conversation. When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak, period. Dipping your penis in it. Uh, uh. Hello again, Ogar. Look, Penis I've glass. got the toilet brush back. Mmm, you man of action, alrighty. Don't just wave at me. Give to manager. See you around, Ogar. May good fortune. There wasn't much when I couldn't speak. 
Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. So we now have the key to the manager the took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stopped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, Pa, look at state of this. Need much cleaning in detergent before go around my you bend. He said all that. Body language account for much, you know? Oh yes, indeedy. Oh, he's gonna tell me it's locked, isn't he? I knew the door was locked. Then use the fucking key, you moron. <laughs> oh, looks gammy. It was a roller. I have to get the roller dispenser off, I know that. They got flawless. I hate those things. What's that? Flawless. Do you throw this on the floor? Yep. It's gross. I like to sit down when I'm pooping. It's a natural order of things. You can still sit down. Ew. You can steal Donna off the guy. Rifle on the wall. Yeah, there is. You should take it. Hi, Nijo. Hello. May I have this statuette? It is broken after all. Certainly. And when my father deals with that feline for breaking it, you can have a Davy Crockett hat as well. No. Nice. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Punch that kid in the head. The grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. Right, where's that American chump? The merchant was selling. Hi there, Twain. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? I saw a medieval picture of a woman, royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? Well, I think you should be in therapy. <coughs> Brilliant. What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's to find him a lifetime. I mean, 50 bucks. Take it. Or leave it. How convenient. All right. I'll take it. Here you go. And here you go. <laughs> Thanks for the money, Dwayne. <laughs> this will come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statue. Okay, well, I'll no see worries. you around, Count on Fuck with it. Oh, you will see us around. In every fucking game. God. Yeah, he's the recurring character. Ugh. He's a nice guy. I don't like many people. Yeah, that's true.
You like this guy. Hello again, yeah. Praise be I think he's a Allah. sassy motherfucker. I yeah, am blessed with your... About Bull's Head Hill. Are you the tyrant? Well, maybe. <laughs> a terrific oh. bargain. Only 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, Yo. huh? Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Probably gonna ah, ricochet before we go to dinner. Splendid. As you say, the cash price pula is correct. Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can I see around here is I think you need to get a less picky woman. Take it. I think you need to get a less picky woman. Okay, <laughs> I'll be along in a minute. You'd be like, look, who's paying for this dinner? <laughs> I don't know actually, yeah. It didn't seem right to take off with don't the if I say how much so I, I got. Them on the bar. It, it'll be you. <laughs> Ah, uh, she got two jobs. You know it won't be her though. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Yeah. Ah, uh, God fucking Hello, damn it. His most splendid and adventurous client. That's your taxi? Oh, yes. Most splendid assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! You Americans with your checky board caps and your jet horses. You have lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the look of it. There, you have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay already, let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed fair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself to break. So, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that gonna take? One day. Maybe six. I can't wait that long. We gotta get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! But do you just have a fan belt on you? No, that'd be freaking stupid. I had the rotisserie towel that I stole from the bathroom. Lengthways and gave me half that. With his help, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so serviceable, yes, very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse ah. toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend. You want to see the bull's head? Yes. Oh, I want to see the bull's in the head. A fucking towel. Yes, as he just pointed out, a Bentley, you know, uses silk stockings. Um. Whereas this is a truck, you know, it needs something to be a little bit more coarse. <laughs> it's an RPG, get over it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's some serious bullshit, man. Someone's spying us. What do you think? Uh, Evil Out is a very inquisitive bird. <laughs> One eyed bird. <laughs> Whoops. Or it could be an ant which has rolled up a blade of grass and then put a drop droplet of dew in it. With a flourish, or am I thinking I of Bugs Life again? I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. I highly doubt that. Oh, that's why I keep trying to put that I could see that crack. I could see your crack. <laughs> Not sure I want to know. Well, that looked really safe. But I had no choice. I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. I haven't really considered going into the sewer in France either, but you know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't expect to be in a bomb explosion. I'm pretty sure he didn't expect a lot of things. But he's just gone ahead and done them I anyway. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in there. But hey, what the heck? I was only risking mutilation. No blade took my hand off at the wrist, and no scorpion stung me. 
for which I was very grateful. But there was something in there, a metal ring, as wide as my hand. Hmm, I wonder what I door will open, or what part of this will open. You'd be surprised. Pulled. Maybe not. life and twice as dead. I'd hardly had time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Oh man, no! The door had slammed shut, trapping me. I had a bad feeling about how Klaus had died. Safe game! Yeah. Well, as soon as you're saving, I'm going to excuse myself for a minute. I mean, you can carry on playing. The mic can still hear me from here. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, I can't. I was just about to say, I can't hear myself. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Well, I've been in the bottle, the clapser must have died of dehydration. I've done more fun things in my life than searching a corpse. But as my life expectancy wasn't great, I figured I should try every new challenge that came my way. I cautiously flicked open the jacket. Hey, what's this? I found some kind of lens. A very old lens made from a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time. Not a crystal ball. Right, let's try and get out of this bullshit death. Someone knows what's gonna happen. Ah, uh, I've played this problem. That, like, otter or wherever it is on the lamp, I thought it was like a cat turd. I know, it does look a little bit like a cat turd, doesn't it? Yeah! I'm glad I'm not the only one. All I could do was stare at it. Can I just glimpse it and it's like, oh, cat turd, in what? Don't have cats. Okay. Some of Britain. <coughs> it was indeed a map of Britain. Some of it. Just missed out that little chunk of island. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. A stone head bearing three bearded faces. It was a strange image, but a powerful one. Redolent with antiquity and ancient mysteries. Oh, doors open. The mount's open. It must be Ultar. My God. If he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar! Don't come in! It's a trap! Stay it's where a you trap. are! It's a trap. Uh-oh. You... Shit. Crew Hello, come. Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual places. Not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. Did you say maim? I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell me. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall, most regrettably, have to kill you. Rest assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. Oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think we should conduct our business outside. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. But, unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg or the groin. Boy, it sure is hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. <laughs> now then, where shall we start? 
How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You want to look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? No, nothing. So, why is this location important? What did the Templars hide here if not an artifact? Picture your mom. Well, there was something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? What did it say? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Performant lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only oh. choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. Shit. <laughs> okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? <laughs> yeah! Bitch! Let's get the hell out of here! <laughs> yeah, if you don't use the buzzy, you die. Luckily, God damn. Leon Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. What about the conversation tree? Does that matter at all? Um, I believe he shoots you. Is it still in one Shit. Piece? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Really? You don't get a lot of time to, uh, well, I use the conversation I'd tree. I'd have enjoyed oh. Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much else. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. <laughs> Have you any idea what this lens <laughs> might be used for? It's probably a good thing no one else could see that gesture. Yeah, and that we don't do the <laughs> face cam thing. I know, right? I'd better get back to the quest. Back to the quest. From Russia, we love. He's back there. Oh, it's like guy doing real police work. Guy's a dick. I'm using a walkthrough just to remind myself where to go because it's been a few years. <laughs> um, and basically it's telling me to go to a place that we haven't even discovered yet. Huh. Interesting. Which is <clears throat> a little bit weird. Well. Can't argue with the walkthrough. I, I can, we can't go there. <coughs> oh. A scholarly it tells us to go to Spain. We can't. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. Oh. I think you got. I think I might have missed a step. I think they might have missed a step. The lens fitted into the end of the. Lucky enough, I remembered this bit. <laughs> yeah. Per disciplinum, mayum lux. But Davis. Hey. Oh, it's like a kaleidoscope. It is like a kaleidoscope. That 
That shit is fucking cool. Weird. <laughs> Destination time. The trouble is, it hasn't told me to guide. There in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide my guess. I've done this bit out of sequence, but you're back. Gee. Well, I wasn't expecting to see you. No. On duty. No. I'm afraid you've got me. Yep. Who or what were you planning to pizzang? You're not. You mean the... I should get you brought up? Who is the? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah. What next? Can it? Well. I kind of wanted to get out of the conversation. <laughs> I can't go to Spain yet. It's right there! Oh, it's right there, but you know. <laughs> I mean, it's going to let me go there. I solved oh, another puzzle. You did? Well, I guess I did. Well, what was it? What's the answer? 13, 14. What does that mean? It was the date when Jacques de Molay was burnt, wasn't it? Of course. The answer was hidden in a stained glass window. When I looked through the lens, the picture changed. It became a man surrounded by flames. It seems to me the answers to the Templar puzzles are as cryptic as the clues. Sometimes I wonder if the manuscript isn't an elaborate joke. The Knights Templar weren't the kind of people to play jokes, were they? Oh, you'd be surprised. There's a guy working on a loom. Look there. A knight with a crystal knight scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. And the knight through... There's a guy between... I, uh, I brought you a present from Syria. Bog brush. Oh, Georges, you shouldn't have bothered. What is it? This. A necklace. It's rather heavy. Ethnic craftsmanship at its most rustic. Oh, of course, I love it. You do? <laughs> it will always remind me of you. No, no, no. Well, that and the hepatitis B. Did they actually do the nasty with each other in this game? I'd better get back. Oh, I have no idea, I'm presuming. You and that bloody phone. 
it hasn't done it the entire time. Yes, it has. I haven't heard it. I literally that was the first time I've heard it. Yeah, that's because you haven't had your Hi, head. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Good. Now tell yeah, me to go to fucking Spain. <laughs> What a fun Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Man, we oui, of course. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the temples? <coughs> it's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes. Uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. In Occidenta Sita Est in Ora Mundi. The island of Britta. Lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange. That map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we did. Ever since. Have you deciphered it? There's a very little. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. There we go. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Thanks for your help, on. You're welcome. And I hope that's the truth. Yes. Thank fuck. <laughs> How the fuck he knew where a place was, I don't know. <laughs> Are we ready for some more racial stereotypes? Okay. Oh, I had a lot of pets. Oh look! He's gardening! <laughs> We're fucking straight in it here! <laughs> Hi, is this the Vasconcellos house? Oh, I'm... Oh, I could tell the old coot was gonna be trouble. My name's George Stobart. I was wondering whether the house is not open to the public. This is the De Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the house. Sounds Mexican. It is no household. Only the Countess and myself. Tell me about the Countess de Vasconcellos. She doesn't receive guests. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won this lottery, has she? What do we say? She won the lottery? <coughs> this makes no difference, the story progression, so choose the answer. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's it. The Countess has won the lottery, and I'm here to give her the check. But she doesn't do the lottery. Yeah, I see it. No. I mean, no, I have to deliver it to her in person. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. Oh, for crying out loud, why'd you leave me on then? To amuse myself. To make you look a fool. To make you go away. What do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor, except the pleasure of your absence. The guy was obviously protecting the Countess against the whole world, but why? Hmm. I'll be going for now. Adios, <laughs> 
senor. Adios, senor. He sounds Mexican, not Spanish. Maybe he is, senor. But. <laughs> you buy. You buy. No, die, be too. Roll back to kitchen. No, Mr. Superman, no harm. His hose fucked up. Don't go on a fuck that. My horse has stopped. Yeah? See, my horse never stops. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> It's always sad when an old condition yeah. comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very I would easily, never. Senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. What, Chihuahua? Damn it, racial stereotype. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Someone's being racist. Well, it's probably true. Why is there a moose there? Why not? It's just not exactly a common hey, you. animal. I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs. I'm coming. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, jeez. Um, hi. Madre dea. Who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, then your Stobart. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? He's I the fucking shield on the wall. Some clues. Right. <laughs> Why should I believe a, a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... So you're defending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, sit down. I know your family's involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were in Morrick, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for Devas Concelos, the line dies with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. They were fucking like children anyway. Okay. Whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. That's Lidonia, comrade. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're That's going Lidonia. to be in stuff that yeah. dates back to the early 14th Means century. Oh, so You're going to kill me now. Yeah, for touching my hat. <laughs> but it's soft, man. Yeah, it's very nice. Well, house the is. house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Oh. Sorry. Its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stoma. May I examine the chess set? Certainly. 
But do not move any of the people. Okay, thanks. Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... You! Why, I feed you to the dogs. The Lopez! What have I told you about the Lopez? I am Jennifer Lopez. Taco? Taco, 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 taco. If I find that you are wasting my time, you will be dead. Taco, play back easy. Suck on! I'll load you into racial stereotypes. Hey, Sapphire did it long before I did. Yep, you're still as bad as me, motherfucker. Yep. My name is Jennifer Lopez. Fucking love Sapphire. Lopez, unlock the door. Taco taco very doubly do taco taco. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the Templars. Nice. What is it? A summer house? A mausoleum, Senor Stopa. Oh. oh. Come with me. <laughs> A summer house with no windows. Yeah, great summer hey, house. Senor. Yeah. I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown these flowers, but I do not trust. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. Okay. No freak. Wow, this is old. It was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place of the Devats Conchella Templars. It's well maintained. These are my ancestors, and they deserve respect. Once a week to say a prayer for them. Mind if I have a look around? Oh, by all means. Oi, love, how do we pry open this shit? I want to go dig around in their eye sockets. Oh, there was nothing to snuff, feeling like an idiot. Then I'll ask you like an idiot. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey, it's a checkerboard. <coughs> Close up, I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. May I ask you something? Uh, you may ask. You may ask. What's the story with the glass chessboard? Glass chessboard? Oh. The pattern on the lectern. Purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard, and the gaps are for... Senor Stobart. You cannot mean... This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary. All of hers. Pendejo. Chess set, puff of all. I understand that the Templars left a puzzle here. And in all of this time, we failed to realize that there was a puzzle. Yeah, but love, so that's because you're a bunch of dumb cunts. Right! Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh? Senor Stobart! This mystery has had a good long run, but it ain't here and now. Jesus Christ, All those right. years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hold down and listen! Go to before. the house and get my chest set! Put your hose down. Yes! The old chest! I didn't even hear him speak. Now hurry! Am I? This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? You know, I think I am. Yeesh. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything. 
It all began at the time of the Jesuit Ghost. Don Carlos had already left their ranks. Don Carlos. Don Carlos. Is he the guy who went missing? Uh, but he had reckoned without the local bishop. The bishop ended us our land and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When God damn Inquisition. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. And Nobody expects a Spanish Inquisition! It took the kids? But why? Oh, we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. See, si, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Stobart, would you be so kind? My lady, calm yourself, Lopez. Oh, Lopez. I believe Senor Stobart's motives are real. Very well, my lady. Yep, promise. I won't rub my balls on them at all. Just on your lady's chin. Just on her toothbrush. No, <laughs> you're disgusting. <laughs> it's alright, something worse just popped into my head. He likes the feel of her mole hairs tickling against his nads. Quickly, I found which piece went into which hole. Right, do you know how a chessboard works? Square bases fit onto the white pieces. I just had to figure out where to place them. <clears throat> Bingo. I mean, is that somewhere in which there would be a checkmate on the white king? A senior Stobart, look! What is that? Chess bitch! It's not, it's not the Holy Grail, is it? No, senior Stobart. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcellos, missing for almost 700 years. Wow! Well, go on. I, I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, go ahead. Live a little. I'm sure. This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobart. Sure, I'm sure. Besides, I'm gonna bat you to death after you turn your back on me and steal it myself. And then I'm going to rape your lifeless corpse. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days ago. That was a bit dark! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what came over me there. Have you seen the, uh, the newest uh, Yahtzee video? Oh no, 
The Countess was thrilled his, uh, to find the challenge, game. but there's still the riddle of the missing knight. I think so. Uh, uh, he uh, uses the sex doll to uh, oh, her dying yeah. husband. Look <laughs> like her. You what? Oh. Oh yeah, that's on this ego review. Yeah. One of his games. Oh, Are his games free or do you have to pay for them? Huh? Are his games free or do you have to pay for them? I don't know, I've never actually like, looked at them and downloaded them. I definitely want to get that one that he just did because that was kind of funny. And it was very monkey eye. Maybe I will. Anywho, get... bye, bitch. See you later, slag. Uh, Fully ramblomatic. How are you with biblical references? Meh. Excuse me, father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. Say, you're you're doing a, uh, a pretty good job polishing that cup of yours. Do you speak Latin? You ask this of a priest? Okay. Can you tell me what per disciplinum meum lux fidebus means? Let me see. That would be... Uh, by my teachings, you will see the light. I think. Yeah, that's what I thought too. What do you make of this chalice? It uh, certainly looks very old. About as old as this church, I think. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah? What does it say? I do not know. It is very tarnished. With your permission, uh, I could try polishing it. Uh, I promise I will be very careful. Wax my cup. That'd be very good of you. This uh, shouldn't take very long. Feel free to look around. Okay, thanks. There in the company of his fellows, biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. An A night there in the company of his. Hey, thanks. It is my pleasure. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing. My mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is that it seems very familiar. Yeah? We. Oui. I think I have seen it on that wood tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Did you know that the center window conceals an image of a man burning at the stake? The burning man? What, you knew? That there was a hidden image? No. But the church has a reputation for being haunted. Many times, people have claimed to have seen a burning man in the window. But when others, they look, there is nothing. Perhaps the light has to be just so for the figure to appear. Yeah, or maybe you need a special lens. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. kind of. You think? Bible, 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 Bible,
Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. There was no name on it. But the coat of arms was undeniably the Pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved into the edge of the tomb. Hey, maybe these biblical references mean something. All right, how are you good with uh, biblical references? Uh, jumble of letters are covered into the side of the next two. You must look for it. Oh, so it's a word search. Yep. Napalm. Napalm. I'm not sure that's a bit of a reference. Slasbun. I've got three. Really? What the fuck, yo? Yeah? Oh, right. Psalms. Oh, okay. Bees in there. You know how to spell sums, right? Hey. Did you know how to spell sums, right? Nope. It's an archaic name. Try that zones down here. There's another one down here. Which is X X uh. X. Examine the tomb more closely. There might be other clues to find. Yeah, there's another one down there. Psalms 32. The numbers refer to a chapter and a verse in the Bible. Corinthian. See? Ah, okay. Yeah, I didn't get Corinthian. I got John. John 4 John. You're not wrong, Corinthian is a. Uh... That was just. You got the fourth one, I didn't get. That was a pure guess. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm probably the last person you should ever ask anything to do with the Bible with. Oh, I'm not successful. Corinthians 1, like religious. Four, five. And just one more. Psalms I think I, I know, like. 22. In more detail, I know Andrex's various patterns on their paper. <laughs> okay, next time I get a puzzle about the uh, Andrex quarter, <laughs> you'll be the first one I come to. After all, the Damasco Cellos arms were already on the manuscript. Note. I like to see a little bit of mob on me. That the chalice had some significance. Bible all pages are a bit thin, you see. Yeah. See this prick again. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Hello, Georgie. Georgie. While I was in Syria, I discovered a strange pagan statue. It was like a head with three bearded faces. Horrible. That sounds as if it could be Baphomet, the idol described by the Templars. The poor Knights of Christ had an idol that looked like that? Allegedly, yes. Yeah. The description of the idol came from the evidence extracted by the Inquisition. Mind you, 
Not one statue or idol was ever found on Templar property. Until now, that is. Just last month, a statue of Baphomet was unearthed right here in Paris. Where? At the outfit. Can you turn the one eagle blood? That's right. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Like the Bahamut. Jeez, he looks like a scumbag. Could you help me? What is it? I've got a few questions. Looks like he just killed a Simpson. You're doing a fine job. Merci. I have my professional pride. I don't killing think these I've ever is seen not a, a an easy work, no? So it's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being indifferent. You're very good at that as well. <laughs> 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 that was a brilliant exchange. <laughs> Love it. So what are you doing here? There, there's some banter that I, I found. Yeah, some conversations I, mean, I would skip past, but Hopefully any of the banter I'm going to you know, play because this one is absolutely hilarious. You probably need to think about it. I could have another cigarette while I consider perhaps tomorrow too. Okay, let me put things differently. What were you hired to do here? I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building of debris and to touch up damage to the dark frames with my little fun. It's a very responsible job. Unfortunately, mm. I'm not a very responsible person. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you know about the excavation? I know they won't let me in to do my job. I would complain to my union, but uh, you couldn't be bothered to join. Right. Tell you what, though. I'm surprised that the sort of people are interested in this uh, excavation. What's unusual about the visitors to the excavation? <laughs> None of them look like archaeologists to me. Do you know what an archaeologist looks like? Creepy suits, crocodile eyes, attaché cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Quite right, monsieur, quite right. So, who are they? Who cares as long as they pay me? Be <laughs> seeing you. Sir. Why don't you? Hey, monsieur! Get away from my paint pot! Okay. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. Puh! <laughs> Puh! Puh! Oh, oh, oh. There was a closed door with toilet scratched into the cheap veneer. That door is locked, monsieur. Gonna go at the fucking woodwork now, any chirpy bastard. Hi. Uh, excuse me. He does that. Really? He's a bit of a dick. I'd like to use the washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. So when he tried it first off, and you just said it was locked. Fucking rude, ignorant French bastard. Soap had the imprint of a key in it. Fuck me, really. I knew keeping that plaster was a good idea. With the plaster and the imprint, I was on the right lines. I had filled the key's imprint in the soap with dry plaster. So he can make a positive, make a and then he can make the plaster. Negative. But wet plaster alone does not make a cast. I used the dryer to speed up the process. Just make it sound like we're taking a piss. <laughs> well, it had taken a while, but I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have to substitute it for the real one. The trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria hadn't looked like stone in a 
until I've been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. Eh? Hey, monsieur, don't go with my keys. Oh, my apologies. Hi again. What is it? Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. He's gonna get really Talk suspicious when we need to use the what? toilet again. Yeah, you'd think so. I go to the toilet again. I need to swap these key. Uh, toilet, toilet time. Need to poo. Got IBS, bro. Let me through. Hey, Monsieur, get away from my paint spot. Okay, I should think so. Fine, douchebag. All right, we need someone to run interference. Do you mind if I use the phone? Be my guest. I'm paid to guard this door. The third can look after itself. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Villa. Hello, Nico. It's me. Hi, Josh. What's happening? I'm at the excavation, but they won't let me in. Damn. We need to know what's in there. Don't worry. I've got a scheme. I'm going to need your help. He's now. right okay. there. <laughs> I, I need a, I need a scheme. I need you to keep someone busy. A painter. I need to get it as pot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stay on the line. I okay, need to get it. it. I need to get in this pot. For fuck's sake. Hi, it's me again. What? No. I made this key out of plaster. How schwerig. How clever. You've got a phone call. For me? Are you shut up? It's a woman. She sounded hot. What woman? She must be mistaken, monsieur. Well, she asked for that hunk of a man with the nicotine fingers and his ass hanging out of his pants. Certainly sounds like me. Stand back. <laughs> it would do to keep the lady from uh, her husband. Ping pong. Pong. Perfect. What, after dipped in yellow paint? Well, monsieur, what a strange woman. She was all over me, and then suddenly, nothing but abuse. Really? What? Abuse? Ah, well, and monsieur, if she... And not available. Could you walk any slower, you fat sack of shit? Don't be mean. <laughs> Hi again. What are your sunglasses? Yep. I need to use the, uh, the toilet Retro. again. Again? Already? I have this problem. <laughs> Bit big for me. How technical do you want? Never mind. Never mind. Go, go to the toilet. That 80s. Now, I'd substituted the fake key for the excavation key. It looked okay, but felt false. I figured I'd best not bother Nico again. Hi again. What is it? I couldn't. The false key looked. It was bound. Talk to you later. Au revoir. Ah, yes. I couldn't imagine what I'd achieved. The doorway led. There was nothing in. I couldn't. Have. I couldn't get to the. Hi again. What is. So, what exactly are you doing here? I'm guarding. You expect to find me shearing sheep? Take it easy, I just... I'd like to know... That says... It wouldn't happen if... Are you asking? I'm telling... Then what? I had a feeling. What? There was a... Nothing. Nothing. Is this... What? Like... No. Okay. Then I... The... I couldn't get... The false key... He was... Back. Talk to you later. Au revoir. I couldn't imagine... Oh, seriously? Basically, what you gotta do is shove up your ass and then breathe. I 
couldn't have. A thermostat. The radiator. No wonder it was warming. Uh, okay. Hi again. What? It sure is hot. I have to have the door open to allow. I turn. You could. I have. Uh, Talk to you later. Au revoir. There we go. Yeah, it's time to do the thumbs then. <laughs> I turned the heating off. There we go. As I'd hoped, the guard put his gloves on. Here you go, I have your keys back now. Hi again. What is he? I held my breath. Here's the keys. Merci, monsieur. Surely he'd notice a bit of weight difference. He's wearing gloves. No weight. He's wearing gloves. Hi, Nico. It's me again. I'd guessed. What do you want to say? What did you say to the painter? I shan't repeat it, Josh. Look, I need to get the guard out of the way. Right Did next you call back right and ask him to get the painter again? Okay, I'll call back soon. The man is a dickhead. This looked like a good place to watch things develop. <laughs> Hey, you, it's the fun. Yeah, who is it? How should I know? What am I, your social secretary? It's not a chick, is it? Yes, it's a woman. Are a you chick. going to answer it? Does she have a warm, sensual voice like molten chocolate? Yes, yes, she has a really sexy voice. Now get a move on. I'm not talking to her. I can see that. You're wasting time talking to me. No, you don't understand. I refuse to talk to her. You refuse? You refuse? I'm wasting valuable time. Don't make me laugh. Your time valuable? You just stand around, or... I have a highly responsible job. Don't me, you elephant I know. My job is important. Impossible. They would have hired somebody competent in that case. Meaning what? Instead of which they hired a dismal rent a cop like you. Oh. All evolent oh. and no brain. Why, you? This looked set to carry on for some time. It was too good an opportunity to miss. Take that, rent a cop. And it's the wrong key. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that to me, bro. But it was fucking keys. Dead man. Lol. Fucker. And this was the reason we got the stupid thing shined. Wow, he really needed that like a hole in the head. Uh, uh, it's probably, <laughs> probably the trowel that did it. Nicole. I found out what the chalice was for. You've served the peasant? Yeah. There was a distorted picture at the Baphomet site. When I viewed it in the polished surface of the chalice, it changed. What did it show? A picture of a church with a square tower. I guess I'd better return the chalice to the Countess. Hurry back, Josh. Oh, I will. To Espanol. Yeah, we've seen that already. Right, and on that note, the next bit's very long-winded and annoying. Yay! So we shall call it there. Yes. It's not overly annoying, there's just a bullshit death in there somewhere. As per usual, then. Yeah.
Anyway, people, I, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was a uh, broken sword again, and we're getting very, very close to the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah. This little tiny bit where we have to find a dousing rod and find water, um, and we do a little puzzle down there, and we find what happened to the children um, that went missing, and then uh, we go to England because down there there's a uh, place that tells us where that church is. Shit, son. So we're like right into the game, and then you get to see that guy with his like Newcastle accent, which is pretty damn cool. Brilliant. Anyway, people, we'll see you again very soon. See you later. Bye.